hey guys welcome back to my channel today i have a review of this eco tools dry body brush it is a cruelty free brush it's a it's a body brush that's meant to be used for exfoliating and i've been wanting an exfoliating brush because the regular sponges like like the ones I get my sponges from Target, right? The ones they have are too soft to really exfoliate. And the thing with using a soft brush to exfoliate is that you have to use a lot of force. And if you don't want to have to do that, you can just get this kind of a brush or something similar to this that's firm. And the bristles are uh, basically made to be used for exfoliating so I've been wanting an exfoliating brush for a long time and I saw this I got this from Target and I thought you know why not let me give this a try I searched for a review of it I did not find one so here we are so anyway this is what the packaging looks like it is recyclable you know the cap over there as you can see the recycle um, symbol the green one and it says eco tools clean beauty clean planet best to exfoliate and to get um, smooth skin recyclable biodegradable plastic cruelty free bristles oh and it's vegan that's always a plus right okay so I am um, looking at the brush it looks it looks durable to me which is why i picked it out this is not the only brush at the store but this just looks like it will last me for a while and um the back of it feels like real wood i don't know if it's real wood or not but it feels durable it feels very well made it feels like real wood and this plastic cap that came with it um once again i don't know if i'm supposed to throw it out but i'm going to keep it just so i have something that i can use to cover the brush when i'm not using it it's always good to have a covering even for your brushes right so i'm going to keep that plastic and this is what it looks like the bristles are plastic they feel they feel nice. They feel nice against my fingers. They are, um, look at how well, um, like, inserted they are. It, it just, I don't know, there's just something about this brush that makes it look and feel very well made. Like, it's going to last me for a long time. And you can use this as a handle to hold on to the brush when you use it. If you don't want to, you know, when you have long nails, right? It's always good to have extra handles so that you don't have your fingers all around the perimeter of the brush. So I like that it has this handle. Even though my nails aren't long, I don't usually have super long nails. But it's it's more awkward to have your hand around the perimeter, especially if you have small hands. So I like that handle. Um, so yeah, the bristles feel nice, but they also feel... Um, like firm or sturdy I don't know the word that I'm looking for it basically feels like it, it's going to get the job done because like I said earlier I don't want a soft brush but I also don't want a super stiff brush I don't know if you guys have ever used um, some exfoliating brushes that are so harsh against your skin that it just does not feel good at all this does not feel this way against my hand, against the back of my hand when I tried it. So I think I'm going to like this brush. So like I normally do, I always try the products that I purchase if I can while I'm giving reviews. And I will come back and like give an updated um my updated thoughts all in the same video so I did the same with this brush I did try it out after I purchased it and opened it because this here is my first time opening it but after filming this clip I used it for about a week 
to see what it felt like and to see if any bristles will come off or you know just little things like how easy it is to clean um does it hold on to stain um yeah just stuff like that so after i used it this is what i found out so one week after i've used the brush and i used it every day throughout that one week um at least once a day and i used it um thoroughly this is what it looks like so uh, there's something happening at the center where the center is getting slightly matted and i was trying to figure out what like what exactly is going on like no bristles fell off when i use it all the bristles stayed intact intact um the brush is not discolored or anything although i just use regular body wash so i'm not sure why the brush the bristles will be discolored from that but yeah it it wasn't discolored or anything but it's just the center part that bugs me and um i don't know why that is happening and it's only happening at the center not at the edge and here's the thing though I used it for another month after that and the center remained that way so like it didn't get worse this particular clip here is actually separate from the previous clip you just saw and at this point it's been a month since I used it and the center did not get worse it didn't get better but it didn't get worse either so I still think this brush is very durable. I still like how it works. I like how it feels. I'm doing that so you can hear what it sounds like. So you can hear that it's quite a firm um, brush. And the bristles are a little bit hard. And you can, you know, it will do the job. So it's not like a super soft bristles. I'm also showing the... I'm trying to show through the bristles so you can see... Um, where stuff some stuff gets stuck do you see all those hairs get stuck <laughs> like when you shave and you brush it will get stuck it'll take you some time to be able to get all that out i actually comb the brush <laughs> underwater to get some of the dirt out of it so cleaning it is quite challenging which is no surprise because it's a dense brush the bristles are quite dense in the brush so i'm not surprised that it's um a little bit difficult to clean so you're gonna have to use something pointed to go through you know the bottom part of the bristles to get all the dirt out to keep it clean because you can't clean yourself with a dirty brush you know because yeah you may need to soak it i don't know use baking soda and vinegar or something to soak it and then use a comb like i did here i was trying to comb out the bristles and to comb out whatever dirt is um underneath but getting the dirt out will be easier underwater so i'm doing it dry just because i'm recording and it's easier for me to do that The brush still works perfectly. I still use it. I still love it. Um, I just don't like to see that. And that's why I'm trying to comb it out. But um, I wasn't really successful. I don't know. It's weird that that would happen at the very center. And as you can see, it's been months. And this has been in water many times. There's almost no difference from the first time it came out of the package. It still looks durable. Nothing came out. Not a single bristle came out. I know it sounds like I'm selling this brush, but this is not an ad. <laughs> this is not sponsored. I just really like the brush. I still think it's very well made. Regardless of the stuff happening at the center there, it still works really well. So I'm going to continue to use it. I still like how the bristles feel. I can really use this brush every day and it wouldn't like scratch my skin or make it red or it's not too harsh on the skin basically. So I like it. 
and I do recommend it. So yeah, that's basically it for this review. Um, thank you guys for watching. See you in my next one. Bye guys.